Hello friends, welcome to my channel here at Techies. In this video, let's talk about how to create the traditional alert in React.js using Material UI components. Before starting this video, let me tell you what are the topics I am going to cover in this video. First, we can create one basic alert. After that, we can do some customization. So basically, if you are creating any alert, we can see some text and also default icon. So if you want to change that icon, it is possible. And similarly, if the icon is not required, we can remove. And then we can include the alert title and also it's having three different types of variants. We can see everything with a proper example. So finally, we can implement the custom open and close functionality. Okay. Now let me go to my application. We can start our implementation. So as usual, let me create one new component. Using stateless functional component, we are creating our component. Next, let me add this component in our routing side. So last we have included this rating. After that, let me include this salad. Okay. Okay, this is done, and also our application in the running mode. So, next, let me go back to our component side. Here, I am just including one box component and added some style using the CSX property. Next, let me include this alert control. This is belongs to our material UI. And here we can include some text. Saved successfully. Okay. Let's see my output. See. We have this alert message. Okay. And let me include some style here. Now see now. So it is somewhat fine. Okay. So this is the success scenario. So similarly, if you want to display some uh, error, we have the severity option. So using that property, let me change this into error. Okay. So the default value is success. So that's what we have seen our alert message in this green color. So let me save this one. See, we have this icon and also uh, the alert changed into red color. We can change the text also. See the output now. Okay. And similarly, we have two more options in this severity side. We can include both of them. So the first one is access, then error. And the third one I'm going to provide as the warning. And the final one is the information. Okay. Warning and info. So similarly, we can change the text also. So let me save this one. We can see our final output. Okay. It should be like this. If you are providing info, it is somewhat coming in the blue color. And the warning is kind of orange color. Okay. So next, we can apply the variance. So what I'm going to do, let, so let me copy this complete box element. Here I'm just including one H2 tag. Variant, okay. Okay. We just duplicated. So next what I'm going to do. So in this alert side, I'm just including this variant, okay. So in this variant, we have three different options. The first one is filled, then outlined and standard. So the default one is standard only. So let me provide outlined. So first two controls I have added as the outlined. And the next two controls. Let me change it into filled. Okay. So now we can see our output. See. So if you are providing outlined, we are able to see this border and filled means the complete area is covered. Okay. 
so let me remove this title so next let me tell you how to remove this icon okay we have to use this icon property there I am going to provide the value is false see now so the icon got removed okay okay this is fine and the next thing is displaying and hiding this alert okay for our example I defaultly included this alert but the real time scenario if any of the event is completed then only we supposed to show our messages and also we have to provide the option for clearing this alert message okay first let me implement this clearing this alert so we can do from our first alert control okay so here what I'm going to do let me include this collapse element so we can move our alert control inside this inside this collapse and similarly let me declare one use state variable also so the name is open and the event is set to open so the default value I'm just to provide it as true next in this collapse element we have the properties called in so I'm just providing this open okay okay it is showing so in case if I'm providing the value will false it's hidden okay so anyway let me have this as the true only and closing this alert I'm going to include an icon from this alert we have one more properties called action let me include this icon button so icon button also belongs to our material UI okay and here I'm going to include one icon also so first let me import it here icon material and our element name is okay so this is the close icon so we can save this one see the design point of it is fine and we have to include the function also in this on click event I am going to call this function okay so let me provide false so now if I am clicking this one it's hidden again I am just refreshing it's showing when I am clicking this close it is just hidden so similarly if you want to open this alert we can provide one button here So in this on click we can copy the same event here and instead of the false we can set this into true that's it so let me refresh the screen so initially the alert is showing when I'm clicking this one the alert is gone so now I am trying to click this click here button see the alert is showing so this is the way we can open and close our icons so next let me tell you how to add the titles for this alert so let me go back to our alert control we can take this first alert so inside the alert tag I am going to include this alert title okay so let me provide success and let me apply the variant also outlined you know so we have this title and also we have this close button also okay this is fine next let me tell you how to change this icon so defaultly based on this uh, severity so we have the default icons okay this is fine so in case if you want to change this icon so that also we can do so let me take the second control 
and here also let me include this variance first so this variance is not a mandatory one actually I'm just including for getting the good look and feel so here I'm going to use the icon mapping property so the severity is here and then we have to include our icon okay so we have this close icon so let me use it here see the response now see so the default icon is changed and so whatever icon we have included it's showing here similarly if you want to change any kind of icon we can modify okay so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching